Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, it is my level 39 rogue. He is specced into the ever-so-familiar bard spec, and I have really been pushing hard with him, doing PvE, doing PvP. I am on the push to level 50 with this character. He is going to hit level 40 at the end of this match, and the road ahead is looking pretty good. I'm going to be frank with you guys, the mage... He's kind of gathering dust right now. The cobwebs are starting to accumulate. I'm really not enjoying him nearly as much as I'm enjoying the rogue, and I have decided that with the limited time that I have in any given week to play this game, I need to be playing the class and the spec that I enjoy, and right now that is rogue, and that spec is barred, so that's what you're going to see from me uh, for the foreseeable future. Now, the low 40s bracket is probably not going to be too fun, so I may throw in some mage just to keep Warframe Fronts fresh, but I'm going to be logging most of my time on the Rogue whenever I get the chance. So this seems like as good a time as any to share with you guys a little lesson I've learned about the roles that we all play in these crazy battles here in the Warfronts. Sometimes you're the warrior. You stand at the front line with your shield and your sword. You rend flesh, you cleave limbs off, you push the battle forward, you protect your teammates, you guide, you destroy. Sometimes you're the rogue, assassinating people from the shadows, jabbing venom-covered daggers into their necks and killing them in the most personal of ways. Sometimes you're the mage at the middle of the field, summoning up the elements of fire and earth throwing wind at your opponents, bringing to bear undead creatures, unnatural magics that devastate your opponents. Sometimes you're the cleric at the back, using your life magic to heal and fortify your allies, making it possible for the battle to continue. And sometimes, just sometimes, you're the guy who washes balls all battle. Savior. Yeah, it's stockpile weekend here in Black Garden, and, uh, I'm pretty much cleansing orbs for this entire video. Uh, I will score the majority of my team's points, 30 points at a time, by cleansing orbs, cleansing orbs, and cleansing more orbs. Now, this is kind of an interesting match, because it isn't really something I would normally pick to talk about, but it brought up an interesting question. So the question that this sort of rose in my mind is... Do you guys like these alternate versions of Warfronts that, that they've developed? You know, you have the uh, Escalation mode over in uh, Whitefall Steps, and you have Stockpile here in Black Garden. Do you enjoy these modes? Uh, do they catch you off guard? Do you fully understand them? Uh, I, I think maybe there are some people in this match that don't necessarily understand what's going on. And I wonder if that's not due to the design. I mean, the fact that this is a map that is very familiar to us, and all of a sudden you're asked to do something that is unfamiliar. I don't know how much of that is maybe due to Tryon's lack of communication on how these modes work, or just due to stupid people being kind of stupid. But at the same time, I mean, there's an evidence here in this video. I can definitely see that some people just don't know what's going on. You had two guys right there who cleansed orbs for the Guardians. That's pretty much all you're going to see. I think those are almost the only orbs that they actually cleanse for the whole match. So the question then becomes, do they not understand how to play? Have they given up at this point already? Or is our push and our pressure such an effective tactic that it's pre preventing their execution? Now, we can't really answer any of that because we can't ask them that directly. So it's really up to us to kind of decide what it might be, and, and I really can't decide. I mean, I'm pretty much going to spend the whole time running orbs, and my team is going to pretty much spend the whole time kicking ass. So I don't know if it's the effectiveness of our ass kickers or if it is uh, on the other team. So it's an interesting question to explore. You know, is the fact that every so often, every four or five weeks, 
all of a sudden, Black Garden is different, and you do something different in the same map that you're used to? Or is it just that these guys are dumb? I don't know. I'm not going to assume that anybody is completely stupid. I think they probably understand what's going on. I hope it is our execution, as you see one of our guys go juggernaut on their asses. I hope it's our execution that's preventing it. But this does bring up one of the things that's been a theme throughout Warfronts, and that is the idea of playing the objectives. I'm playing the objective. I'm not having a lot of fun playing the objective, but I'm playing it so that my team can win. I have a big group of guys who are basically getting to indulge their bloodlust and absolutely destroy members of the Guardian team who can't even really get out of their spawn at this point. And I'm running orbs back and forth, back and forth. So if I can't, if I'm not really having fun, does that mean that this is poorly designed? Well, no, because there's five of us in here and that's just a really low amount. So I'm not going to say that it's poorly designed when we don't even have a full match here and uh, you can't even get the full, uh, the, the full effect of how this mode is supposed to be played. You know, is it just that this mode doesn't work very well with low numbers? Is it just that this mode doesn't work really well when you have one person who is really dedicated to playing the objectives and a team full of folks who aren't really dedicated to that concept on the other side? These are all good questions. I have no answers for them directly, uh, but they're the sort of things that you want to think about. Oh, our good friend Tree. Hi, Tree. Oh, beautiful plumage there, beautiful plumage, but I hate trees in my face on Black Garden. They are so often in my face. I want to just, sometimes I just want to play Black Garden from a first-person perspective. I know that it would completely handicap me and totally get me killed many times, but sometimes the trees piss me off that much. Uh, I do have to say that was a nice little uh, a nice little uh, survival game that I played with that guy there. Basically, he was all over me, probably could have put me down. I managed to stay uh, alive long enough in order to get a little help from my teammates. And uh, that's great, huh? So here's a little cut for you guys. I took out like a ton of, uh, of me running orbs just so that uh, things wouldn't get so boring. And this is just basically us cleaning up. Uh, once we hit, I think... Um, 450 somebody was like farm 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 so i stopped running orbs and uh we just kind of started messing with them basically <laughs> and uh, you know it's sad it's kind of a, a dickish thing to do but uh it was fun i have to admit especially after running all those orbs that whole freaking time to finally get in here and get the chance to actually do a little damage i have to admit i enjoyed myself and i'm not going to apologize for that so in the end i think what we're left with here is a series of modes which are unique and interesting. They bring diversity to the game, but I wonder at what cost. You know, again, is it that these people just don't understand what they're doing, or is this actually due to some fault on Tryon's part uh, of either not communicating this uh, efficiently enough, or uh, this dude right here is going <laughs> to... I should blur out this guy's name, because he's going to feel like a giant idiot right here when he goes to this cleansing orb and it's not active, right? I give him a little cheer, just sort of a sarcastic cheer right there uh, when he went to that orb. So it's interesting. I mean, I'm glad that Tryon is making these alternate modes, but when you run into games like this, I mean, this is a 500 to 74 victory for us, and that's a little bit crazy that it's that one side. So... Again, is this a flaw of the design of the match? There's my level 40. Uh, the design of the map or the design of the mode? Uh, or is it just a team that was really bad? I don't know. I'd like to do some more research into it. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to continue to look at it. I can tell you that this was typical of the experience that I was having. I was having matches like this that were very one-sided uh, to the Defiant side. Uh, are we just dominant? I don't know. It's an interesting time to be here as a Rift subscriber because we have constant growth and we have an expansion that's looming will we see a new war front i don't know would you like to i certainly would you know what are we missing here right now attack and defense maybe that could be an interesting uh, an interesting attempt uh something like the uh, strand of the ancients from world of warcraft i also think that uh, frankly hotball was one of the highlights without a doubt of uh, star wars the old republic pvp 
Is that something that we could see here brought to life in Rift? And is it something that you would care to see? You know, again, it's an interesting time to be a player of Rift, to be here in the Rift community when you have a publisher that is, and a developer that is so clearly dedicated to the idea of continuing to expand this game, whether it's alternate Warfronts modes like Stockpile and Escalation, or whether it's entire new Warfronts like Library of the Rune Masters. So guys, I kind of made this disjointed... (laughs) disjointed string of thoughts for this episode. Uh, I would love to go through and record this like another 10 times, but I am really close to losing my voice right now. So while this probably isn't the best episode of Warfronts I feel like I've ever put out, uh, it was intended to start a discussion that I don't know if I started or not. Uh, But I'm about to go hoarse and I'm about to, to lose my voice and I actually use my voice for my job, for my real job that pays me actual money. So as opposed to wrecking my voice, recording and re-recording this, trying to organize my thoughts, I will bid you adieu. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been my backup mic, so any sound quality issues, I do apologize. Until next time, take it easy.